IBP has a long history of working in Kenya on a wide range of budget issues with the aim of increasing public understanding and engagement with budgets and budget transparency at both the national and county level. In the year 2016, IBP Kenya began promoting a new approach of public engagement with budgets termed deliberating budgets. The approach is rooted in theories of deliberative democracy, which emphasizes on the importance of giving and debating reasons for the choices we make. This, this project is just to give demonstrations on how we could better structure public participation to achieve this, to achieve a, a point where the, the government feels the pressure to give decisions that are backed by reasons, and the public responding to that, they are able to say, having considered, for example, sector performance, we think this particular sector should get more or shouldn't get more. And that, that goes for other budget decisions. When people are equipped to understand what it is we're deciding and what are the factors to consider when we're deciding those things, then they're better equipped to make better decisions or to respond to proposals by the government. To ensure that participants had the necessary background about the government budget before venturing into these deliberations, IBP Kenya organized the first part of the day to help participants learn. They also prepared specific roles for a facilitator and an expert and asked experienced staff to play their roles. For every forum, remember this is more than 100 people for some cases, even 200 people, you need someone who is actively guiding the forum. Someone who is thinking about, if we're going to decide, what are the options for deciding? So you throw those options to the forum, and then the forum can say, well, now that we know the options of deciding, then we choose one way to decide as opposed to another, and this is what befits us. But if there's no one who is actively moderating the session, if there's no one who is actively dispelling, for example, misrepresentations, then people continue to have discussions that are based either on false statements or are based on um, skewed uh, op uh, opinions, okay? So having a facilitator in any deliberative forum, and, and we see this in real life, in normal life, that you have to have someone who is actively moderating and facilitating the discussion. Through the three forums in Mombasa, Isiolo, and Nakuru, IBP Kenya facilitators played key roles in ensuring the forum's main objective was met. We anticipate facilitators in any budget forum should have the knowledge of what is going on in the county, first of all, or in the national government, and be able to educate the people in the forum on what is relevant for the decision they are making. So, leo tutakuwa na nafasi ya kusoma sekta za national government zinakaa ina gani, zinakaa na mna gani. Na jambo la pili, na hiyo ndiyo decision ambayo mutakuwa munafanya leo, ni ni pesa ngapi zinatakiwa kupatiwa kwa kila sekta. So, kuna sekta kumi. Na katika hizi sekta kumi, kila sekta ina wizara kadha na idara kadha za serikali. Ukiangalia katika, uh, katika vi, vi, vitabu vya serikali na katika budget, tutaona kwamba, Wizara na idara za serikali ni zaidi ya kumi, sindio? Kwa hivyo kila sekta kuna zile idara ambazo ziko ndani yake, ambazo zinafanya majukumu ambayo yana, yanafanana. Na nataka tuangalie kwa mfano. Ukiangalia katika, uh, katika sekta ya, ya education, tuona kwamba kuna, kuna idara kadha hapa. Kuna State Department of Basic Education. Lakini ukiangalia katika budget, tuona kwamba kuna ile mipangilia ya serikali ambayo itakuwa chini ya kila wizara. For example, kiangaleo yu wizara ambayo tumwene ya basic education, tuona kuna primary education, secondary education, kuna mambo ya kuakilisha kwa, kuakilisha kwa mba, kuna quality katika ile education ambayo inapatikana na mambo ya administration. Sawa sawa. Kwa hivyo kila tukienda chini, tunawana kwa mba, kuna zile program ambayo ziko na the same objectives. Programs siku maanisha ni department, na nataka tutafautishi hapa. Programs siyo department. Sawa sawa. Kila wizara ina department, lakini hizo department siyo, nataka hapo tuelewe vizuri. Program moja, ineza kuwa kwamba ndiyo tuweze kuwa kikisha tumefikia ile mipango ambayo kwa katika ile program, kuna idara tafauti ambazo zita shirikiana ili tuweze kufikia malengo ya ile program. 
kwa mfano ukifikiria hiyo ambayo mmesema ya free primary education lazima kuwe na walimu walimu wako anda gani kwa zile ambazo tumeangalia TSC eh lazima tuangalie curriculum ni nzuri watu wa curriculum ndio wako wapi quality eh? so ile mipango ya serikali si departments programs ni activity tofauti tofauti ambazo ziko na lengo moja lakini kitu moja ambacho utaona ni kwamba the discussion or the big decision that we will be making will be at the sector level sawa sawa the sector discussion is one of the most important parts of our formulation of the budget hizi sekta kumi ndio serikali huwa ikianza kutengeneza budget inajiuliza je kwa ile shilingi mia moja tuko nayo tutagawanya aje katika hizi sekati ya hizi sekta kumi. sawa sawa that is the biggest decision we have to make every year what is our total budget and how much money do we give to each sector na wananchi wanahusishwa kivipi katika hii process kwa hivyo government kuanza kutengeneza budget yake kwanza wanajiuliza tutapatia kila sekta pesa ngapi tukimaliza tukijua kama sekta ya education tunaipatia pesa ngapi ndio sasa tunaangalia katikati ya hizi sekta katikati ya uh, sekta moja kuna ministry ngapi ambazo ziko ndani yake kwa hivyo kitu ya kwanza lazima tujifunze ni hizi sekta ni nini ni ministry gani ziko ndani ya sekta gani wanapatiwa pesa ngapi nilisikia mtu akisema si ungetuambia hata walipatiwa pesa ngapi last year ndio hata mimi nikijiuliza saa hizi ni kuwa at least na mahali ya kuanzia si ndio na hiyo ndiyo nataka ikuwe kitu ya kwanza yenye tutafanya leo ndio by the time tunafanya discussion ya kusema hii ndio maoni yetu at least tukue tunaelewa hizi sekta huwa zinafanya ni sio ni njia mzuri kuanza sawa sawa so if you go to um, a forum and uh, people are unsure for example what should national government do what is the county doing now and people do not know that then there should be someone to answer those questions and say actually the health function is heavily devolved haya kadi ya tatu sasa unaweza tusomea kadi ya tatu yongele about national and county functions aha ee kimimi vinamanisha majukumu majukumu ya serikali kuu na majukumu ya serikali ya ugatuzi Aha inahusiana vipi unafikiri inahusiana vipi? Kwa nini lazima ujue mambo haya wakati unafikiria juu ya bajeti za sekta? As for my knowledge serikali kuu ndio mama ya serikali ya county. Na ambapo kwa nini nasema hivi huyu county lazima ile na national government na sustain one inch wake. Kwa maana utasikia maybe budget repetition county ya kwa 15% ndio ndio wake yeye ana kafuate hiyo 85% katika national government Jambo moja la muhimu sana 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 lazima tuelewe leo ni kwamba bajeti ya serikali kuu haina pesa za serikali za kaunti Wakati tunafanya ugavi wa pesa serikali kuu inapatiwa kiwango chake serikali za kaunti zinafanya nini wanapatiwa kiwango chake kila mtu anaenda anatengeneza bajeti yake kivyake katika hii budget ambayo tunaangalia hii ya national league ni zile pesa ambazo national government ilipatiwa kiwango chake sawa sawa kaunti nazo zinapata uh, sehemu yao wanaenda wanatengeneza bajeti zao lakini zile bajeti ambazo wanatengeneza zinalingana na yale majukumu ambayo katiba ilizipatia function moja ambayo imekuwa devolved sana sana na mumeona baada ya mgomo wa madaktari ni health. Kwa hivyo wakati tunaangalia hii health hapa haina zile hela ambazo county zinatumia katika majukumu ya afya. Haya nani yako na 9.3? Eh. Debt versus services. Debt versus services. Um for debt I want everyone to understand when donors are giving us money they don't give us money for recurrent expenditure. Most of the time our services are paid by our own taxes. So the government will collect money through taxes and use it for services. Kwa sababu services ni mtu anapatiana kama mwalimu, kama daktari, services, si ndio? Mara nyingi tukipata madeni ni ya infrastructure. For example, gani nyenye sahii inasikika sana ya deni 
SGR. SGR tumepata deni kutoka wapi? China. Haya. Sasa tunezamua, tunapata kufanya hizo vitu za infrastructure. Inamaanisha kuwa kwa sababu hatuna hizo pesa nyingi, tutachukua madeni. Si ndio? Kwa sababu tunaona tukikuwa na SGR, labda tutasonga mbele zaidi. If we are discussing a budget decision and someone says something that is misleading or is not true, then we should have someone who has the knowledge to say that is not true. Inaenda all the way mpaka April 30th. Bajeti lazima zikuwe zimefika katika National Assembly kufikia April 30th. Na lazima National Assembly kwa ime approve yo budget kufikia June 30th. Wakimaliza kwa approve budget inarudi wapi? Katika wizara za serikali. Zile idara za serikali njyo zinafanya implementation. Implementation inaanza July 1st. Miezi kumi na miwili hadi June 30th ya mwaka ujao. Tukimaliza implementation hiyo June 30th, mambo yote ya bajeti ya natoka katika idara hizo zote za serikali, parliament na kathalika inaenda kwa auditor general. Auditor general anaangalia zile hela ambazo zimetumika, zimetumika kivipi. Na ye ana muda wa miezi sita, kwanzia July 1st, hadi December 30th. Now, this is very, very, very important. Kwa sababu kuna wakati mwingine utafikiria, kuna ministry fulani nafikiria iko kwa hii sector but in the real sense ukienda kuangalia details za hiyo sector unapata hiyo ministry haiko hapo for example wacha niulize tu swali ya haraka haraka polisi unafikiria polisi wako kwa sekta gani hapa ukiangalia wangapi wanasema national security aha wale ambao hajainua mnafikiria iko sekta gani rukia Public administration, wangapi public administration? Nikiwambia hiko kwa hizo sekta mbili mutania mini? Hiko kwa sekta gani? Governance law and? Unaona hapo? Governance, justice, law and order. Ministry ya interior haiko kwa national security, haiko kwa public administration, hiko kwa governance, justice, law and order. That's why this information you have here is very useful. Because when you will be participating, kumbuka, when you are in public participation, unataka kuwakikisha, unaparticipate in the right process. Zindio? Ukisikia sector ya national security na kuja isiolo, and you care about security matters. Alafu yon siku ya national security ndiyo weo unatokea mkutano. Na umetoka meriti, zindio? Meriti ndiyo, meriti ni mba, wiko ndiyo kwa kwa, eh? <laughs> umetoka meriti mbaka isiolo town kukuja kuparticipate kwa process then you realize actually that is not the process I was supposed to be participating in another function of the facilitator we see is to track what is happening to help the participants to bring together what is what is it where have they reached in their decision making process Okay, and that function can be helped by having a rapporteur. For example, if you're making decisions on how much to give each sector, there can be a rapporteur to say, so far we have said this much to help because of this. Do we still hold that opinion or not? So the work of a facilitator is to track the decision-making process, the deliberation, so that people because there are many voices rising, there are many voices being heard, then to bring everything together and say, this is what we've said, do we stand by it still, have we changed our mind? Kitu muhimu, kenye lazima tukumbuke, ni at this, hizi tafauti munaona hapa, ni kitu ya kawaida. Okay? Anytime you have public participation, people will have different views. The question is, how do you arrive at the final decision? Tafanya consensus, consensus ni hile kuwelewana. Election ni hile munasema, 
tunaangalia education tunaona kuna tofauti wangapi wanasema 25 watu wanainua mkono wangapi wanasema 20 watu wanainua mikono ile mingi inashi inashinda hiyo ni election ya tatu kuna zingine hata mathematics watu wanasema tufanye average atuelewani hapa eh haya basi fanya average hapa mwisho hiyo ndio tumesikizana ni hiyo so how do we make this decision i'm leaving this to you it's not up to me it's for you to agree let's go one by one eh aha uh-huh. let's say education aha uh-huh. group 1 wamesema ni 25 aha uh-huh. group 2 wamesema 20 aha uh-huh. group 3 wamesema 20 and group 4 wamesema 20 Go by 20. If you go <laughs> by the average, because that is 85. 85 divided by 4 is about uh, 21. So we get 21 now. Aha. So we want to say we're doing mathematical. Mathematical. Aha. Anyone with a different point, he's made his he's made his suggestion very clear. Yes. Aha. Come here. I'm saying uh, where the figures are close, Aha. we can we can do mathematics. Okay. But where there is a big disagreement, a yeah. big difference, yeah. we can discuss to see why these people are saying this, yes, why these ones are saying. I like that. Do you agree with that? Yes. Yes. So what is our final approach to making this decision? Now we need to agree on one. Consensus. Say on consensus mbili. I have an idea. Election moja, huh? Idea ko group one. Na any anybody's opinion is it is accepted in this room so you so as per the table to identify it kwa ngapi alafu just but an idea to ile haraka haraka kama kuna secretary andike kama tuko for instance wa nane yes nane na no nane alafu wakati ushapitisha tutasema saa cha to pick papers ile katazia papers ta pick to hesabu na to come up na conclusion yes is got time that's what you made it it's a very interesting secret ballot eh? i think the best democracy in any other group discussion is just by being the raise of hands because <laughs> consensus is a very good thing but sometimes if somebody has his or her own idea that is stuck on his head it's very difficult to accept the majority of the even if is either wrong or right So the, the good the good thing is let us just accept democracy of raising by hand then pick the majority vote. Okay. So that's slightly different. So that one is let's do a simple voting pattern. Aha Mokera. Lakini tukifanya voting, aha. There's a high likelihood aha. that everyone will vote for their menu. <laughs> then we will be back to where we started. There's a high likelihood many let me hear the last and it has to be a conclusive one that is agreeable to everyone no i think let us be genuine with each other let us listen to each other's opinion let us judge from whatever views they are giving Mm-hmm. If their view is is heavier and is pulling you towards them, vote for them genuinely. Not mm-hmm. because you are in agriculture or in, in education, you want to go towards there and you know you cannot support your point. If someone is giving valid reasons, go with them. So what do we go with and how do we decide? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 
and engage each other in reasoned debate. So the facilitator helped the learning process to be much um, palatable for the participants. And, and all through the day, we'll see instances of the facilitator being that information reservoir, okay? And even providing other avenues that people will interrogate. If they wish to interrogate more uh, documents, then the facilitator can able to, can, can, is in a position to guide them on where to check, okay? So a facilitator's role in terms of giving information is not dispensable. There has to be someone who is moderating but must be well versed with what the decision at hand is all about. These forums have seen a significant increase of knowledge in the national budget-making process and a common desire by participants to be involved in the process. IBP Kenya. Open budgets transform lives.